Okay, there's only been two times that I've regretted not filming. And last time I regretted not filming, if you guys remember, I had to redo the recipe so you guys could see it. Um, this is the other one. If you follow me on social media, you'll see that I did a pulled pork recipe in the pressure cooker. I'm going to recreate that right now because it was so darn good. In fact, I just made it like two weeks ago. There was a ton of it. I had to give it away so that I could redo it again. So come on in close. I'll show you how this recipe works. It came out really good. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to season this heavily. Then we're going to put it in the foil and leave it in the refrigerator. So basically we're using four ingredients. We're going to do black pepper, cayenne pepper, got my cayenne pepper here. And you may think I'm, I'm seasoning heavy on the outside, and I am, but when you slice this or you pull pork this with forks at the end, you're gonna wanna have all this travel through the thickness of the meat and mix in. So strong on the outside, nothing on the inside. It's gonna balance out nice. Smoked paprika, love this stuff. This stuff is gold. What a great flavor it does. And last but not least, the best gourmet seasoning you'll ever taste. If you don't have this, throw in whatever you want. Garlic, uh, granulated garlic, granulated onion, whatever. But this has it all, and this works on everything. So I'm using my, my seasoning on this. Now we're gonna put this off to the side. We're gonna take it out and gently flip it into that seasoning. And I'm gonna redo the top again. So I got this all seasoned, and if you hear lawnmowers in the back, it's because my gardener has just arrived. It never fails. Spring is here, isn't it? You gotta love it. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up. We're going to basically keep this wrapped for about five to six hours. And I'm gonna put this in the fridge. I will see you in five to six hours to cook this. And I promise you, my gardeners will be done by then. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I just unwrap this, look how beautiful it looks, and I cut it in half, because I'm gonna brown this on the stove in a second. And I decided, I just went to the store and grabbed some onions, and I'm gonna saute the onions after I, in the pan that I brown this in. You wanna brown this side, and you wanna brown that side, so you can do about four minutes on each side, and keep moving it around. And have I got a lot of onions for you. My eyes are watering right now. Oh. One too many onions I cut. Crying like a baby here. But it'll be worth it when it's all done. And I know some of you are like, oh, well, why'd you mix the onions? I have no idea. It was just a whim. I was at the store. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to mix onions today. I got some sweet ones, some red ones. Red ones are kind of sweet with a little bit of heat. I love both onions. Looks like a lot, but it's gonna shrivel down once I cook it all up. Okay, it's time to make the barbecue beer sauce. Those are the two ingredients. Woo -hoo. If you have another barbecue sauce that you prefer other than mine, we're doing the hot one today. Uh, just grab a bottle, a full bottle of your favorite barbecue sauce, and I'm using Guinness. I've used it before. It's amazing. It works great to cook with. You can go with uh, some of the other flavored beers if you want, whatever you want to do. There we go. Come on, come on. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? That is beautiful. Nothing like a barbecue sauce that just hangs. Whoop. Whoopa, whoopa. And then just gently stir the sauce in with the beer. Get it all to blend. It's an amazing combination. If you've never done this, you've got to try this. So simple. Okay. It's time to put it all together now. First thing we're going to put in is the meat. So let's bring that over. Big, big pieces of meat. I'm gonna put those in first. So I'm gonna set that in like that. Put it on like that. There we go. And the piece right in there. Down in there. 
get it tucked in. Next thing we're gonna put in is the beautiful sauce. There we go. All right, last thing we're gonna put in, look at those beautiful onions. Does those look great? That's right, I overdid it. I totally overdid it, and I don't care. I do not care. There you go, come on, get in there. Does that look awesome? It's absolutely beautiful. Close it, don't wanna lose that goodness. We are ready. Okay, set it to airtight. Here's how this is gonna cook. It's really thick. We're gonna cook for a solid hour. Then we're gonna wait about 15 to 20 minutes. Just let it set in the off position and let it naturally release pressure. Okay, remember what I said about the pressure cooker. Uh, you need to get your mitts on. You step back a little bit and you're gonna gently pull the valve open. I've let this uh, depressurize for about 15, 20 minutes. So now we're gonna help it along. So I'm gonna open the valve slowly. See, most of the pressure's already gone. So I'm gonna let that rest. Let the rest of the pressure come out. That's a natural uh, depressurization. All right, here we go, you ready? Ta-da! And yes, I'm putting those onions right on top of the sandwich, so. Look at this, look at these onions. They're beautiful. There's one piece right there. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Here we go. Look at that falling right off. If you wanna make a sandwich out of these rolls, you can really break off like four at a time, like that. Cut them all in half, right like this. And you can make one big sandwich, just like that, out of these four Hawaiian rolls. Isn't that cool? Okay, then I'm gonna take some of these onions off the cutting board here. Watch this. This is the best part. Isn't that beautiful? There's a ton of onions. I got red and white. They're sweet, they're hot, because I use the hot barbecue sauce, and they got the cayenne pepper in there from the the rub that I sauteed them in. Is that beautiful? I'm going to take a little bit of the juice. I'm not putting barbecue sauce on this, just a little bit of the juice on this. Get ready for it. And I'm just gonna drizzle it right on top. Just let it go where it may. Isn't that beautiful? There it is. That's it, right there. That is what I'm talking about. The bottom's just drenched with the juice. Here we go. Mm. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, the heat is burning my mouth. It's awesome. It's really good. Not that bad at all but there's a lot of spices going on in there. From the dry rub to the hot barbecue, wow. Oh my goodness, I'm already getting messages on my phone for people who live locally that want some of this. I already posted some pictures, so I'm gonna have to share all this meat, but it's awesome, you've gotta do this. You've gotta do this this spring, you've gotta do it this summer. Caramelize the onions, put it on top, and you're gonna love it. I'll see you guys in the next episode, take care, bye-bye.